I have two mods left to do on my current NBA Jam three-quarter scale arcade one-up. We're at Best Buy. This is a Best Buy that I've come to a lot. If you're following the channel, you know what I'm talking about. They carry a lot of arcade one-ups here. Inside this store is the XL NBA Jam Shack version. I've had my eyes set on this for a long time and there's a couple of things holding me back from this purchase. So in the meantime, I've been doing as much as I can to my current NBA Jam. And this is a different type of mod video. Instead of just going right at it on the arcade, I just wanted to stop here and go over a couple of things about the Shack Jam before we do our mod. The best thing about this Best Buy is they always have arcade one-ups on display, similar to like how Walmart used to have them. We'll take a look to see if they have anything other than, than the Shack Jam, but that's what we're really here for, is checking out my pros and cons with this cabinet and why I'm modding my current NBA Jam cabinet. Something that's always drawn me to this cabinet is the size of this marquee. If you have an XL or the KI Pro, you know what I'm talking about. This marquee is going to be bigger than your standard arcade one-up marquee. A con, though, is the speakers. They don't have those grills like the Golden T, like the actual new deluxe form factors and the KI Pro. And we all know about the TN monitor, but the TN monitor isn't the thing that's like keeping me away from picking this up. The main reason is the $699 price. With everything being said here, this cabinet's a $399 to $499 cabinet. And until that goes on sale, I'm gonna keep spicing up my current NBA Jam cabinet until we see a great deal on this. But I mean, if you walk up to this at a store, I mean, I don't know if it's the blue one here, but it's a great looking box. You have the Shack logo, the black front. I mean, it does look good. It's a, it's a good looking cabinet. And as far as the TN monitor, from what I've seen, it's not as bad as that golden T monitor. Hey, I think that you're standing in front of it. You're not gonna have any issue playing this thing. People have complained about that control panel being a little small for the size of this cabinet, but just the look of this from the front, the marquee and that whole black in the front. Yeah, it doesn't have the molded coin door, but it is a good looking cabinet. It's just that the price this whole time, and I think the best that I've seen this was a $5.99 price. And it's just still a little too high, considering that for a while, I, when we came here, now they did change this. The Golden Tee at one point was $315. For an arcade that does have the grill covers, as you can see in this picture, the molded coin door. 315 at the time, I mean, whoever picked this up got a great price. Looking at the shack, you don't have that coin door. You don't have the grill covers. The TN monitor, which again, I mean, you could even see in this picture, they're not hiding it. I mean, they're showing you it does have the TN monitor, but that control panel, it doesn't have that slant that NFL Blitz has. It's just gonna be a flat, will they come out with a new form factor? They probably will. But if the price drops on this, this is something that is on my radar out of any arcade one up that is in stock now, this is the one I'm watching. So that's my impression of the NBA Jam XL Shaquille O'Neal. And until the price does drop, we're gonna do another mod, actually two more mods on the current NBA Jam cabinet that I have. So there's a couple of things that we've done to this NBA Jam cabinet already. We started off with the tournament edition topper from Sabos Arcade. And, and this is a quality piece. If you've ever gotten a topper from them before, it has that 3M stick and it just, it, the abrasive on there, as soon as it makes contact, I mean, it's locked in. It does look good and it hides the light switch behind this arcade. It's kind of like an eyesore. But the first thing that you'll see on camera that you're looking at right now is that marquee. And we're gonna rip this off put on a Sabos marquee and we did go with the original art here instead of the tournament edition, even though we do have that tournament edition topper. 
I also put a control panel filler from Sables underneath the control deck. Couple of touches here to make this as like spiced up as I can because I never went with that shack jam. And it's not like I regret not getting it. Again, I'm not gonna pay that much money for the cab. I mean, if you add all these um, mods up on this cabinet, it probably it will be more than what that shack jam is, but you'll just look at everything we have here and it's really gonna stand out next to a couple other arcades that are down in the basement. Just to prove there is an NBA Jam logo here on the marquee. It's just the further you get back, it washes out. And just looking at that NFL Blitz marquee, this is what these two are going to look identical when we make that switch. But I mean, if you've gotten a marquee from Sabos, you under you know, I mean, it's just it's quality. It looks great, and the control panel filler. This this went on very very nice, very easy. It was just a matter of going over and over and over, and it really stands out from just like a plane. If you look at the end of Ninja Turtles right there, and then you see Blitz, NBA Jam, it, it just looks plain by not having that. So I'm glad I went with that mod, and I did put dust protectors. So when I did buy this, there were no dust protectors. So I found a seller on Etsy, and I just went with NBA Jam and NBA Jam Tournament Edition and just kind of rotated them on here. I did say there were two mods. The second mod is going to be putting a decal where you see these three logos of the games for the cabinet. I'm thinking I'm going to pull this out, put the decal on the other side, and flip this around just to keep that original artwork in here. So opening up the box we got from Sabos Arcade, and my cat Lucky is always excited whenever we're modding any of the arcades or in the gym downstairs so she's always a good sport looking in here he does have packed package very good with the peanuts now this was a direct purchase from his website they didn't have this original artwork on ebay or etsy something that i've said in in previous videos that you can also find his products on you do get that sables stecker and then taking a look at the marquee It's going to resemble just like the arcade one up, except we do have that midway right here. And when we turn this on, it's really going to show up a lot better on camera. That will be very comparable to how that NFL Blitz looked. And just peeling this off, we'll get a better look at it. A little help from Lucky here. You just see how glossy that is and how that light is going to look when it's shining through here. This is a great looking marquee. I'm really glad I went with this original artwork. Like we talked about before on that Shack Jam, this was the marquee artwork without the Midway logo. And I wanted to be as close as I can to that XL. First things first, we're going to warm up this marquee with a hair dryer. It's, it's very simple if you've never done this before. You just want to heat that surface up for about 60 seconds to 90 seconds. Just go from all side to side on there, and it will peel off a lot easier. You just got to get a corner started. Taking a little razor blade or a knife, either corner is fine. Once you get that established, this whole thing will peel off like a bumper sticker. Just brace that cabinet in because it's going to kind of rock on you as you get to the end here. And once that's off, you just want to clean this off with some rubbing alcohol, some goof off. Just get in that surface nice and smooth. All set, we could put the marquee on. And it's just going to snap right over the top and under the bottom. And that's all we got to do for that marquee mod. And for that second mod, I found a seller on eBay, XL Arcade. Now I'll have a link for XL Arcade along with Sables Arcade in the description. But just to spice this up, we bought some decals from XL Arcade. We'll just take it out of here, get a better look. 
underneath the control panel, even though we have this, this decal underneath the deck, this will go right after that. Similar like where that killer instinct art that if you've ever put that underneath your control panel on the KI cab, same type of sticker here, abrasive. And were those three games, the artwork on the NBA Jam, NBA Tournament Edition, and NBA Hang Time, we're going to have this decal that looks like a coin door with the Tournament Edition logo. This should really spice up that cabinet and be a pretty bold look on that arcade. The good thing about this generation for player NBA Jam is you can just pull these right out and it will be a lot easier to put the decals on here along with this piece. Can just pull right out instead of trying to get around inside of here and into the riser. We have our first decal on, we have the coin door. Now there was some access that we had to cut off, but it's better to be have more than, than be short. And this is just gonna slide right back into where we pulled it out. And these generation cabinets are really easy to do some mods on. It just slides in. We didn't have to take the sides off or anything. And we have our jam session decal on here. And there was a little bit of access to cut off on here as well, which is pretty typical in any artwork you're going to put on an arcade. And look at what a difference that marquee makes from Sables. Backing up, it doesn't wash out in the light. You compare it to Blitz, we're the same distance apart from both of them. They just show up. This is a perfect looking marquee. You can just see that midway. I mean, look at the NBA Jam logo here. This is perfect. What an excellent marquee. It was worth the wait. Now, the tournament edition was available on eBay. And you might get a little bit faster shipping when you go through eBay. But the OG NBA Jam was only available direct. And it was worth the wait. It wasn't too bad. Awesome looking marquee. And just comparing it to Blitz here. And these are two different types of marquees. Now the Blitz slides in. The NBA Jam clips over. But just looking at both of these. Absolutely perfect. Here's a shot of that new artwork. The NBA Jam Session, the Decal Coin Door Tournament Edition. Looking at Blitz with that coin door, it's got a unique look. I like how this turned out. This will keep that FOMO of the XL until a, until a deal you can't pass up. And just having this in the backdrop, these will look good paired next to each other, especially with those light up marquees. I'm happy with the last two mods to this cabinet. We've done a lot of work on this to prevent me from getting that XL shack. Everything turned out great. I'll have links in the description for XL Arcade and Sables Arcade. I'll leave this video with the last look at what we did on this cabinet. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you guys next time. Completely impressed with the XL Arcade. I've always loved the NBA Jam Session logo. It's so 90s. It's just, it was just a special time for the NBA. Final look at those marquees. You just can't beat them.